Hello, my name is Ilona and today is Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. And I just wanted to start with Berlusconi has died. He has, of course, been a political figure in Italy. So I do believe that we're going to see more people kind of disappearing from the stage. Uh, of course, the Pope also had an operation last week, I think, or a couple of days ago. Haven't heard anything about that, but we do know that he is probably going to disappear as well. Although I think the Pope himself has disappeared quite some time ago, but this is more in the public, just like what happened with, of course, the Queen. That they're mentioning that his health is deteriorating. So they are really preparing the people for what's going to come. So we'll just have to wait and see. But Berlusconi is now uh, kind of, well, he has died. So it's interesting what's going to come out of that. More and more stories will be coming out. And I've already seen a lot of interesting things. So we'll be hearing about that as well. The other thing that is very interesting that Kim Jong-un from North Korea sent his full support to Russia uh, and um, congratulated them on the day of Russia. I believe it will be celebrated Monday. So um, not sure if that was actually yesterday or not, but I believe it was. There was the day of Russia and he congratulated them. And fully supports them. So that is quite interesting. Monday, the first case in Germany has started about the sting and the damage of the sting against Bion, BioNTech. And it's very interesting. The article I found, there are multiple articles, but this article is really talking about the responsibility and they are really immune for these things in a way uh, that they have immunity but it's very interesting that these cases apparently there there are uh, two lawyer firms uh, that are actually mentioned in this article the first one has about 250 cases the other has 100 cases mostly in germany so this is the first case that started and apparently there are some cases starting in italy so we're probably going to see more of this the damages from the stings and they'll try to you know hide behind this immunity but i think that's going to fail they still want to make out at least in the article that the uh, side effects are very rare but i think this is just the beginning and this will uh, bring more things like this to the front and uh, people will hear about this as well so this is interesting of course this is not in the mainstream media yet but People can share these things. Like I said, Twitter, you know, can share a lot of things and it's not being, you know, they, they're not suppressing it anymore. So this will be known. And uh, it's interesting how this is going to develop. Another thing here in the Netherlands, this is really just an article I call nonsense news, but it's just so interesting. <laughs> it's so telling also for the Netherlands, just a mentality here. This is about a police officer who's been convicted of spreading, uh, you know, awful things about different races. And he's now going to have a function at the immigration police. Yes, the immigration police. What could possibly go wrong when you put someone there? It really doesn't like other races. So it's going to be very interesting. But I just had to, just the thought of that here, even here in the Netherlands, we are a very small country. We have a lot of people in that small country and the police system is, is gigantic. There are so many different divisions and so many ways where you could put an, you know, an agent or a police officer. But no, you're going to put a police officer that is actually convicted for this. For, you know, uh, saying things in, in awful manners and you're actually going to put him with the immigration police. Yeah. The Netherlands at its smallest, as we would say in, in the Netherlands. It's just incredible. Well, that was the nonsense news. Other news here in the Netherlands. That is an article about the nitrogen case. We have the minister van der Waal. She's really hoping to gain the trust of the farmers. And now we have like this. You can uh, see if you fall into the category. So you can actually uh, buy yourself out. So they have this tool that can count if you are in the uh, percentage that you have too much nitrogen. 
there's already our people and organizations warning not to use that tool because most likely you will be put on a list. But of course, the minister immediately says that's not the case. But come on, if you've seen what happened the past three years, you know, if you're going to use that tool, you're going to be put on a list and they'll know exactly yeah, what you're doing and what your how to say it, production will be of nitrogen and it will be used against you. So very important that no farmers will uh, just how do you say this use it stay away from it don't comply it's just nonsense she even mentions this minister that money is not an issue of course it isn't because you know she will go to the minister of finances which is Kaag. they both want to get you know be the best pet in klaus's classroom so they'll do anything to make sure that the most farmers they you know they'll hopefully get rid of all the farmers but this way they're trying to get as much uh, as many farmers as possible to just give up farming altogether because if i'm not mistaken even in the uh, although I'm, i haven't seen it you know what the actual um how do you say this contract is going to be but apparently you won't be able to farm in europe which is just nonsense so if you give up your farming now here in the netherlands you won't be able to become a farmer somewhere else in europe it's just insane but that tells you everything you need to know about this agenda so that's going on and um, don't comply with anything and let's see the interesting thing is i want to take a look at is that uh, soros has now given his empire so to speak to his son alex his youngest son i uh, saw that he actually has i think five children one daughter and four sons and this is the youngest if i'm not mistaken and this is about a 25 billion financial empire and it's very interesting because the articles here in the netherlands actually focus also on the fact that alex is very political and they call it supporting democracies that he's spending so much funding and so much money. But in reality, it's of course undermining dem democracies. You know, they buy off activists, they give money to political opponents they want to put in the forefront, pushing agendas with their money, forcing companies or certain organizations to follow a certain line. But it's very interesting in an article here in the Netherlands, it was mentioned that Soros was most likely responsible for Black Wednesday in Great Britain because he was, uh, I believe, uh, let's see if I can find it. He was actually betting against the pound. So he was the one that broke the Bank of England, so to speak. It's very interesting they're mentioning this. I also shared a video yesterday through Telegram uh, someone is really taking, uh, how to say, taking a stab at him. And that means that they're talking about all his activities. So I think it's open season towards Soros now. So that's why probably that he's transferring now to his son, Alex. But it's very, very interesting. And I just wanted to take a look at the energy. And the first card I got was the Page of Wands. So this is a white hat sort of operation, or at least they are looking how things is going to go. But I think the white hats are behind this all and that they purposely are transferring it and things are going to come out about George Soros. And that will, of course, have an effect on Alex. And I'm not even sure if there's that much money left. I think most of it is already pretty much gone. And this is what it feels like to me for the dark energies. They're running around like a chicken without a head. They really don't know where to go, what to do. And that's really what's showing now. This is the central card. The card in the past is the six of swords. The card underneath the uh, ten of wands is the magician. And for the future, we have the eight of wands and the ten of swords. This is ending. That entire thing with Soros and paying off people and pushing agendas that entire system is collapsing this is ending and it's probably going to go faster than we even think like i said i'm not even sure they have that money but it's now just coming out also to show people and especially now with the emphasis that the uh, son actually is talking about as well that he's going to be even more political than his father that he is against mr t who is now very popular 
in America more and more popular. So that's really not something you should mention when you're starting with this. And of course, it's, it's, it's so obvious now and it's shown and people can finally see what's going on behind the scenes, how things are being manipulated, money just pumped around to certain people. And that's why they can get away with all kinds of things or they get in certain positions. And that's all going to just end, radically end. And it's probably even maybe even faster than we think. And uh, what I mean is that more and more things will come out of about Soros and about how things work there. So I think we're really just watching it implode, so to speak. But that's why the change is now. So more and more things are going to come out about George Soros and obviously also about Alex. And it's very interesting that his youngest son is chosen for this. I just thought that was interesting. But they are uh, in, they don't really know what they're doing anymore. Like I said, I don't think there's any, there's not much money left. So they have no idea what to do anymore. They don't have that influence anymore. They don't have the money to back it up. They don't really have the power anymore to pull the strings. So someone else is pulling the strings. And to me, this feels like white hats with a magician. So manipulations are going on, but this is really the beginning of the end for Soros. And like I said, I'm not even sure with the Pope, also with Soros, if he's still there or not, but I'm just working with what's now becoming public because that's what people see and that will have an effect on how people view things. So this is what I got for Soros. And I also wanted to take a look at, well, this is more Belgium, Netherlands oriented in a way that this has to do with jobs being offered. That has to do with the C that's been going on, of course, the past three years. We've got test locations in Belgium. They're, they're asking for uh, people to enforce like inspectors for the uh, certain restrictions, enforcing them, uh, people uh, uh, help lines concerning C. So my, my kind of like, are they, are they really going to drag this one out again? Are they really going to try to create this health crisis again with what's been going on the past three years, because I do believe that a lot of people are not going to fall for that. We've, we've already lived through the past three years and let's face it, more people died from the stings than from whatever that what was what they call, you know, going around. I call it the C, it's easier than, but really it was a bioweapon and, uh, it's, it's, I thought they were going to create something original, something new now. They've got some uh, other things backed up, you know, try to create this fear again. But apparently they're going to try this one as well. So I just wanted to take a look at the energy concerning the sea and if they're going to try to, you know, roll it out again. We have the Six of Swords as the card above. We have the central card, the, ki the Queen of Pentacles. In the past, we have the Five of Pentacles. Underneath the uh, Queen of Pentacles, we've got the King of Cups. And then for the future, we have the King of Pentacles and the Lover's card. And to be very honest, we are moving away from this. I don't think a lot of people are going to fall for that. Of course, you're going to have people that still are using tests. To me, that's like insane if you're still doing that after everything, you know. There's not much going on here. It's pretty clear that the C is similar to the flu. So why would you even still be concerned? But there will always be people that are going to be afraid and, um, you know, uh, will do what the government will tell them, is telling them to do. But we're moving away from this. I have this feeling there's a different energy going on. It's, it's like different way of working with our, our health. This is the central card. This is for the future. This is the king and queen of pentacles. It's also about health, about just looking at health differently. I think a lot of people just woke up, you know, with everything that's going on and understanding that there are other things that can help us, that can support us, but they are natural uh, uh, how do you say this, uh, substances you can use. I'm not sure if substances is the right word, but there are natural cures, that's the better word, you can use to help yourself and that we are capable of healing ourselves as well. But there's, you know, we are all working in a certain process now with 
opening ourselves up, raising our vibration. So there is nothing wrong with supporting ourselves, but if we do it in a natural way, with natural cures, working with our body, respecting our body, not putting all these things in there that Big Pharma wanna, wants us to use and that we won't use that anymore. This is really about uh, connecting with ourselves, the king of cups and the lover's card. This is really about making choices from our heart. So I think this has to do with waking up people because people are like, this going around, of course, on social media, and uh, they probably are going to suppress it on certain media, but other media, this is shown, like, why Why are they already asking for all these people? Like, why do they need that? Are they planning something? You know, people are getting more and more suspicious, and like I said, people have survived the past three years, and probably noticed it's not that bad, it's not that awful as they claimed it would be. If, if you really compare it to other outbreaks, this is a very mild one. People died from the stings, not from what was going around, according to the governments uh, around the world. So we're moving away from that. And there's also a different way of looking at medicine, looking at uh, healing. And I think a lot of people are returning more to more natural ways, more in uh, harmony with nature and all these cures that nature have given us. And we can obviously heal ourselves. So the stronger we get, the less we will need anything outside of ourselves. But we can support ourselves in a natural way and not just take some pill and that, that just keeps us sick and it keeps us in a certain vibration. We were left in the cold by the medicine, by uh, you know the health system, and that's going to change. So I see this also as a change of the health system, more connection with ourselves, with God, with our intuition, more making choices that will help us. We're moving away from this. So I don't believe they'll be able to really bring this out again. I don't think a lot of people are going to fall for that, especially because they've been through the past three years. And really, it's, it's, it's comparable to the flu. Like, what are we really talking about here? So this is a very interesting energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling as well. Just this different way of looking at health, looking at what is really important and how do we deal with our bodies? How do we respect our bodies, respect nature, respect you know, in, in a har harmonious way, living. And I think a lot of people have changed their ways or starting to change their ways and starting to realize we shouldn't depend on anything from the health uh, system, so to speak. Most of it is just not even good for us. And of course, if you need help, get help, but be mindful what they are giving you. Especially if I look back at uh, my grandparents, they died quite some time ago especially at the later a stage uh, for like my grandfather, he had like 25 pills, something like that. And he was taking a pill for this and then something else happened because it was a side effect of a certain pill. And then he needed a pill to against the side effect from the first pill. And it just, and then those pills created side effects and then he needed a side, it, it's just a mess. And some pills even don't even work good together. And it's just, I was just amazed about how many things he was taking at the end of his life. It was just, he was just like a walking chemical factory. And I know for a lot of people that, that uh, they do live like that. And of course, sometimes it is necessary and it can help you. I'm not going to completely dismiss everything, but I do believe that we're heading towards a more natural way and more faith in our own self healing capabilities and supporting ourselves in an other way, in a natural way. So that's what I'm feeling with all these job opportunities or offerings that concern the sea. I think they're trying to work that angle, but it's going to fail and it's just going to open up people's minds towards completely different ways of healing. So I'd like to leave it at this and hope to see you in another video. Bye.